as Rajiv Khandelwar sir is an alumni of Sri Ram College of Commerce. Sir is a fellow chartered accountant, has completed DSA from ICI and over more than 25 plus years of experience. So uh, thank you for uh, sir first of all for accepting our invitation and addressing here and also we are thankful for becoming our uh, technology partner as well. So thank you sir. Uh, sir is a faculty at Indirect Tech Committee for ICI. Sir has contributed to e-learning module for, at ICI. Conferred an award by NIRC for contribution as faculty in various seminars. Sir is ex, ex convener of Information Technology Study Group at NIRC of ICI. Sir has co-authored a book of Chartered Accountant e-practice manual. Sir is regularly contributing article on GST, electronic scheme of government, information system audit, uh, and in, in the general of institute. Uh, and also NIRC newsletter and other newspaper and journals uh, and also sir is a regular speaker on GST e filing scheme and other e initiative of government and technology related subject on various platform of CA Institute, CS Institute, Cost Accountant Institute, Nan Darshan Channel and many other uh, forums as well. So with this we are uh, welcoming you sir and uh, we can uh, I can I can if, if you would like to share the presentation you can share screen as well sir. Uh, thank you, Virag Bhai, and uh, uh, all these uh, wonderful deliberations by my co-speakers. Uh, I would like uh, and thank you, the audience also. Uh, without wasting much time, I'll start the deliberations, and I think we are already overshot the time, so I'll try to keep it uh, short. Uh, is my screen visible? Yes, sir. If Perfect, it is visible, okay. Perfect. Sir. So uh, I think already many technical and uh, legal issues have been talked about. I'll uh, just confine myself to the final. Uh, after considering all these things, understanding all these things, you need to know when the due date is there and what is the maximum uh, uh, late fee, etc. That is to be paid. So we'll be just talking about that. And it's a Sunday. I don't want you to uh, put too much into your heads now. And I think you might be having other commitments also. So what are the uh, extension of due dates and various reliefs in uh, late fee uh, interest, et cetera, that we'll see. As you're aware that the 43rd uh, GST Council meeting was held on the 28th of May, and uh, thereafter various notifications have been issued. Uh, but uh, let us understand that there is no waiver for uh, returns which have already been filed. So if you have already filed the return and late fees has been paid by you, interest has been paid by you, I think uh, there is no relief in that, it, particularly the late fee, and uh, I think even interest. The other uh, speakers might uh, like to uh, add something to that. Uh, then uh, let us see what the, the basic changes have been made or how the late fee has been capped. In the case of uh, the prior period, uh, the, uh, in fact, for the current or the future period, uh, we are talking about DSTR one. That is the return period May 2021 onwards. If the turnover in the preceding year was uh, nil, then uh, maximum late fee is 500. If it is between, uh, it is up to 1.50 crores, then the late fees maximum is 2,000. If it is between one and a half crore to five crore, then it is 5,000. And above five crores, it is 10,000. So obviously they've linked it to the turnover so that smaller ones uh, get uh, more relief. And <clears throat> when we talk about GSTR 3B, uh, First, we'll talk about the period, a prior period, that is July 2017 to April 2021. If uh, there is nil liability, then the maximum late fee per return is 500 rupees. And uh, if there is some liability, irrespective of the amount of DST payable, then the amount maximum late fee that is payable per return is 1000 rupees. But obviously, you have to ensure that this filing is done till 31st of August. That is the period 1st June to 31st of August. If you do the filing during this period, then the relief is there. Otherwise, you won't get this relief, and the normal uh, GST uh, late fee and interest, etc., shall be applicable. For subsequent periods from May 2021 onwards, if the liability is nil, the maximum late fee still remains 500. And for turnover up to one and a half crores, it is 2000 rupees. From one and a half crores to five crores, it is 5000 rupees. And above five crores, it is 10,000 rupees. 
so uh, this is the maximum fees that is to be paid now but where there was no capping and uh, a lot of amount had to be paid and that is why many cases people were not filing i think this should uh, really uh, um, help the professionals and the taxpayers to file their returns now all the pending returns particularly regarding late fee obviously uh, if there is nil uh, tax liability maximum late fee is 500 rupees only per return and if the tax payable is there then uh, 2000 rupees is the maximum late fee paid a gstr7 uh, tax deductors late fee per return per day is rupees 50 maximum late fee per return is 2000 rupees and uh, i think it's well been already talked about that if the due dates for various activities uh, fall between 15th of april to 29th of june and the due date has been extended to 30th of june and obviously it's not applicable to all these uh, whether it is registration furnishing of returns levy of late fee uh power to arrest furnishing of returns etc 345 etc all these things other than these things whatever uh things are there like uh, general returns like seven eight nine etc uh in those cases is the general uh extension of 30th of june will apply you just now see the due date also also another important thing that is there is that uh the rule 36 uh, will uh, not apply in case of uh, returns for the April 20, uh, 2021, May 2021, that has been postponed to uh, June 2021. So that's 5% extra ITC uh, uh, from GSTR 2A or 2B that you take. That, uh, that means that whatever is appearing that you can uh, in your books, you can take the benefit in April 2021 return, May 2021 return. But cumulatively for June 2021 return, you'll have to do this uh, calculation of 5% extra ITC in this uh, return of June 2021, which will be filed in July. In STR1, also you are aware of these uh, due dates extension. Uh, for April and May, the due dates are uh, 11th of subsequent month. That has been extended to 26th of May for April. 26th of June for May. And next, uh, for IFF, that is Invoice Furnishing uh, Facility for QRMP uh, suppliers, uh, the due dates have again been extended to 28th, so it is uh, 13th of the subsequent month. So for April 2021, it was to be filed by 28th of May, and for May 2021, it has to be filed by 28th of June. GSTR 4 financial year 2020-21 the due date was 30th of april which has been extended till now to 31st of july in tax payable by composition persons uh, for march 2021 quarter the due date was 18th of april uh, so till 3rd of may if you had made the payment no interest will be payable and from 4th of may to 17th of june if you had made the payment the 9% interest was applicable and from 18th of june 18% interest is applicable. ITC 04, uh, January to March 2021, the due date was 25th of April. That has been extended to 30th of June. And interest for late filing of GSTR 3B, if the turnover is above 5 crores, the due date for March was 20th of April. Till 5th of May, there is no late fee. And from 21st of April to 5th of May, 9% uh, interest. And beyond uh, this date, 18% interest. I think uh, these dates are already over, so we can talk about May only. So for May uh, 20th of June was the due date. There will be no late fee till 5th of July. And from 21st of June to 5th of July, interest at the rate of 9% will be applicable. And thereafter, from uh, 6th of July, interest at the rate of 18% will be applicable. If we are talking about turnover up to 5 crores for monthly filers, uh, here uh, the dates for April are also still pending, so we can talk about that. So the due date was 20th of May, and uh, no late fee till 4th of July. And if you do the filing from 21st of May to 4th of June, then no interest will be payable. And if you uh, make payment and file GSTR 3 uh, from 5th of June to 4th of July, 9% interest is to be paid, and thereafter at the rate of 18%. Similarly, from uh, May 2021, the due date was 20th of June. There's no late fee to 
uh, till 20th of July and no interest also from 21st of June to 5th of July and interest at the rate of 9% from 6th July to 20th of July and thereafter at the rate of 18%. And if we talk about QRMP filers, in that case, again, the due dates uh, that were quite near. In fact, uh, it is there for uh, March 2021 also. So for 20, uh, it was the due date was 22nd of April. Uh, no late fee till 21st of June. We still have time for that. In, no interest till 7th of May. And interest at the rate of eight uh, at the rate of nine percent from 8th of May to 21st of June. And thereafter, from 22nd of June, at the rate of 18%. This was the category one states. Uh, category two states, uh, the due, uh, similar due dates, uh, difference of two days only. Then for uh, April 2021, the due date was 25th of May. Uh, this is just uh, filing PMT 06 Chalan uh, because return is not to be filed for April and May. Uh, so no late fee is applicable. So for the month of April, if you do the filing from Till uh, 9th of June, there is no late fee and there is uh, no interest also payable. From 10th of June to 9th of July, interest at the rate of 9% is payable. And interest at the rate of 18% is payable thereafter. And for May 2021, till 9th of July, no late fee, no interest. And from uh, 10th of July to 24th of July, 9% interest will be payable. And thereafter at the rate of 18%. So if we see the June calendar, these are the obligations that we have to fulfill. Uh, in fact, today is also a due date of uh, people who are having turnover above five crores in the earlier year. Uh, so for, for making the payment of the tax and filing DSTR 3 b for, for the month of May, it is the due date today. And if they make payment uh, uh, after this date, then uh, they have to pay interest at the rate of 9%. And uh, but people who are having turnover up to five crores uh, monthly filers, they can do the filing till 5th of July without any interest. So these you can see uh, other due dates uh, of 3B, PMP 06, 25th of June uh, for the month of May, and the GSTR 1 I've already told you, and IFF I've also told you. Then on uh, 30th of June, again, various obligations are there. In filing of application for revocation of cancellation with the due date of filing of such application is between 15th of April to 29th of June. ITC 04, uh, we've already talked about 30th June is the due date. In 5 and 5A, for the months of March, April and May, 30th of June is the due date. GSTR 6 for the month of April and May is the due date. And GSTR 7, monthly return by tax deductors for the month of April and May, 30th of June is the due date. Similarly for GSTR 8 also. July calendar, if you see, uh, various things are there. From the 1st of July, as you might be aware, dynamic QR code is a must on B2B invoices for turnover above 500 crores. Penalty to be levied from 1st of December 2020 if you are not ready by 1st July 2021. This deadline has been extended several times, but now again it is staring us in the face. And other than that, I've already told you 4th July uh, and 5th July, uh, these are the due dates for GSTR 3P. Uh, for turnover up to five crores uh, without late fee, but interest at the rate of nine percent, and fifth July uh, for payment of tax for May for turnover up to five crores without late fee and interest. Uh, then MT06 uh, nine July you can pay uh, for the month of April, interest at the rate of nine percent, or for the month of May under the QR QMP uh, scheme without any interest. And similarly. Uh, these are the liabilities are there, like payment of tax. Again, for the April, May, June quarter for composition tax base, the due date is 18th of July. It has not been extended as of now. Then other liabilities, uh, again, will be different dates for uh, when interest will be applicable, when it will not. I think we need to uh, take note of all these dates because uh, so that whenever there is delay, we are aware and uh, we should try and uh, pay in time so that uh, the client does not have to pay more interest. In PMT 06, uh, 24 July is the due date for uh, the month of May with interest at the rate of 9%. And obviously, 31st July is the due date for GSTR 4 for 2021. So, we have uh, this, uh, we make websites for chartered accountants, and uh, this is a sample site, cavirtual.in, wherein uh, various facilities uh, are available. A lot of uh, data is available regarding ad tools, etc., uh, various calculators, various other utilities, etc. And also we provide these due dates 
uh, we regularly update these due dates. These calendars are there, and uh, you yourself or your clients can also add it to your Google calendar so that all these dates are updated there also. So this facility is there on the website cavirtual.in, and you yourself can also get a similar website made for yourselves. Other than that, though, uh, that was about the due dates. Uh, other than that, uh, some uh, reduction in GST rates has also been done uh, for COVID-19 relief measures. Uh, briefly, we can see that uh, the GST rate has been reduced to 5% up to 30th of, of September as of now for medical grade oxygen, COVID-19 testing kits, hand sanitizers, pulse oximeters, oxygen concentrators or generators. These are the general things that we all are aware because of all this uh, pandemic at this time and we are aware about these things that other uh, equipments are also there which we might not be much aware of or ventilators temperature check equipments uh, marker kits etc or gas electric other furnaces for crematorium time map machines type up machines etc so rate has been reduced to five percent up to 30th of september then various uh, COVID medicines, again, uh, you might have heard the names Remdesivir, uh, we've heard a lot. So 5% rate, uh, rate has been reduced. Then heparin, which is uh, anti-coagulant, again, rate has been reduced to 5%. And for Ocilizumab, uh, rate has been reduced to 0%. And Amphopericin B, which is for the black fungus, uh, the rate has been reduced to 0% till 30th of September. So that was all I wanted to share with you in the limited time. Uh, thank you so much.